It's back and in a rather unlikely place, suburban Sudbury. We saw the Sky Bar logo and I said, what's that? We have to check it out. Neko! When Neko, then the nation's oldest candy company, filed for bankruptcy in 2018, the 80 year reign of the iconic Sky Bar sadly came to an end. Sky Bar, gives you four. That is, until Louise Mawinney came to the rescue. But this can't be happening. I never dreamt that I would be the owner of it. And in fact, I wouldn't have been if one of my customers hadn't sent me a link to the auction. And the very first thing that was going to be auctioned was Sky Bar. So I bid on it. So now you had the property of the Sky Bar name, and were you already thinking, I will make Sky Bar candy bars? Never in a million years. So how did you get to that step? Enter Jeff Green, a former Neko VP. I said, I've got to find someone that can make this. And he said, well, you can make it yourself. And that was all that I needed to hear. This isn't Mawinney's first rescue mission. In 2014, when Duck Soup, Sudbury's longtime gourmet shop, was set to close, she bought that too. As if written in the stars, the space next door became vacant just in time for the Sky Bar launch. The funny thing was, this space in Mill Village in Sudbury was already zoned for manufacturing. With one stipulation, half had to be retail. So Mawinney filled it with vintage candy, toys, and windows for customers to view the candy making, a process complicated by four different fillings, caramel, peanut butter, Teddy, by the way, vanilla with fluff, and fudge, all, as you know, in one bar. It's harder than I thought. I think what's really saving us and saving the day is that we have state-of-the-art equipment. Think 3D printer. Neko never had a piece of equipment that did this. They deposit all four centers at the same time, plus the top and bottom, and it's computer-driven. In seconds, you have a finished sky bar. Not everything is computer-driven. That's Frank, Mawinney's son, sending the bars to be wrapped. Willy Wonka has nothing on Mawinney. You are it worldwide for making sky bars. You're standing in the world headquarters right now. <laughs> At CIC, Cambridge Innovation Center in Kendall Square, workspace comes with snacks, lots of snacks. Mac Leslie is a resident snackologist. And yes, there is such a thing. My job is really to provide the fuel that everyone kind of needs throughout the day to help get through all the crazy projects that everyone's working on. CIC calls itself a startup incubator, home base for hardworking entrepreneurs. I get in at 7.30 and I restock everything. Make sure that it looks abundant is the word that we use. Sometimes, you know, someone will have a big meeting in one of the conference rooms that maybe goes all night because they're trying to discover the cure for something. And I'll come in in the morning and everything is just gone, just completely wiped out. And you think, how did they do that in that amount of time? CIC pioneered the co-workspace concept in 1999 and today has campuses worldwide. Will Simpkins is head of kitchens. There are many. He too was once a snackologist. Every snackologist is responsible for one or two kitchens. Our 11th floor, for whatever reason, is more health conscious than the third floor. But that's not to say that the people on the 11th floor if they get a craving for some chocolate, they're free to go to any of the other floors. If you're a member of CIC, you have full access to all of our buildings around the world. Such as Rotterdam, where snack in Dutch is... Tussendoortje. It's all part of a plan. We have our specialty item program, and every three months, every kitchen gets three exclusive items to that kitchen. We do that to encourage people to wander through the building. If a few people are really into the dried mangoes that we have on the fourth floor, they bump tongs in the jar and they start talking. Who knows what discovery might emerge over dried mangoes or maybe gummy bears. These gummy bears actually are so popular that they've been on two different floors now. Everyone says they want more healthy options. But then when I actually do look at the numbers and the budget at the end of the year, it's like peanut M&Ms are 50 times more popular than the baby carrots. I've been trying to stay away from some of the candy, but those gummy bears on the ninth floor, they are hard to resist. 
So now you have it, a new word for your vocabulary, snackologist. Will Simpkins says snacks are more than just a perk. He has gotten emails from clients who have collaborated after a chance meeting in the snack kitchen. The snack kitchen's home at the Cambridge Innovation Center is currently closed for normal business. And back to Skybar, they are open but only offering curbside pickup. They are also taking orders online. Next, snack time means caviar? Why not?